UFC 300 Pereira vs. Hill took place on April 13th in front of a sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The event brought in $16.5 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting rights, not to mention pay-per-view revenue, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? With a stacked card from top to bottom, I'll be pocket-watching each and every one of the fighters that make up this historic event. Let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the early prelims, the former Bantamweight champion Cody Garbrandt had the speed advantage against former flyweight champ Davis and Figueredo in the first round. But in the second, Figgy scored the takedown early and locked in a rear naked choke for the submission victory. Garbrandt brought in $156,000 on the night, while Figueredo earned a win bonus and was named by Dana White as one of the fighters receiving discretionary bonuses. We know from Dana himself that these bonuses are usually in the range of four to $25,000, so without knowing for sure, I'll take an average and estimate that Figgy got an extra $10,000. That brings his total paycheck to $236,000. In the second fight, Bobby King Green outclassed Jim Miller in a bloody, brutal striking battle to take the unanimous decision victory. Miller made $186,000, while Green took in a win bonus for a total of $341,000. Next, strawweights Mariana Rodriguez and Jessica Andrade put on a show for three grueling rounds. It was a close fight, but when the scorecards were read, it came down as a split decision victory for Andrade. Rodriguez earned $73,000 on the night, while Andrade took home a win bonus and a total of $251,000. Hanato Moicano displayed superior grappling in the first round against fellow lightweight Jalen Turner, but in the final minute, Turner scored a knockdown with a huge left hand. Thinking he had the walk-off KO, he stepped away allowing Moicano to get back up and survive the round. It was a mistake that would cost him as Moicano secured mount in the second round and pounded Turner's face against the canvas to notch the TKO victory. Turner brought in $79,000 and Moicano earned a win bonus along with an extra 10 k and a total of $186,000. On to the prelims of this stacked card, featherweight Diego Lopez cracked Sadiq Youssef with two huge uppercuts that both resulted in knockdowns and ultimately a TKO finish just 1 minute and 29 seconds into the first round. Youssef made $51,000, while Lopez took in a win bonus and a well-deserved locker room bonus for a total of $42,500. Kayla Harrison's UFC debut really could not have gone any better. She dominated former Bantamweight champion Holly Holm in the first round with a significant strike discrepancy of 46 to 1. In the second, she landed a judo trip, allowing her to take Holmes' back and sink in the rear naked choke for the victory. Holm earned $196,000 on the night, while Harrison took home her win bonus and an extra $10,000 for a total of $414,000. Next, Aljamain Sterling smothered Calvin Cater over three rounds with his expert grappling. It certainly was not the most exciting display, and apart from a slam in the third round, no one could blame the crowd for booing Aljo mercilessly. The scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Sterling. Cater brought in $101,000, while Sterling earned a win bonus and a total of $366,000. In the feature prelim, former light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohaska absorbed heavy strikes and leg kicks from his opponent Alexander Rakic in the opening round. Prohaska started to pick up momentum at the end of the round and came out swinging in the second, walking down Rakic and landing a massive combo that knocked him to the ground where Yuri poured it on, resulting in the TKO finish. Rakic made $81,000 on the night, while Prohaska raked in a win bonus, as well as a massive $300,000 performance of the night bonus for a total of $604,500. And now opening up the main card, Cody Brundage gave the rising middleweight Bo Nickel his toughest test yet as he defended several submission attempts in the first round. In the second, however, Nickel landed another takedown and controlled Brundage before sinking in a rear naked choke and taking the submission victory. Brundage earned $40,000 to show and $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $46,000. While Nickel made $32,000 to show and $32,000 for the win, $4,000 in Fight Week Incentive, and a total of $68,000. 
second fight on the main card saw Armin Sarukian survive a nasty guillotine from former lightweight champion Charles Oliveira in the opening round. From that point on, the fight was incredibly close, with Armin using his elbows to open up a cut on Oliveira's forehead. In the final seconds, Charles locked in a Darce choke, however the final bell sounded before he could get the submission. The scorecards came down as a split decision victory for Armin Sarukian. Oliveira brought in $350,000 guaranteed and $21,000 in fight week incentive for $371,000 on the night. While Sarukian earned $90,000 to show and another $90k for the win, along with $11,000 in fight week incentive for a total of $191,000. Next, Justin Gaethje took on the new and improved 155-pound Max Holloway for the BMF belt. The fight did not disappoint and included Gaethje enduring a suspected broken nose, Holloway knocked down for the first time ever in the UFC, and the coup de grace, Max pointing at the center of the octagon with 10 seconds left and both men throwing down with no regard for their own safety. Holloway connected with a right hand that sent Gaethje face first into the canvas and walked away with the knockout victory with one second left on the clock. Gaethje earned $500,000 guaranteed, the champion's rate of $42,000 in fight week incentive, as well as a $300,000 fight of the night bonus. And this is where we get into a bit of speculation, as we don't know exactly who gets pay-per-view points or the rate, which varies based on the individual contract. As the defending BMF title holder, Justin would have gotten pay-per-view. Based on the star power of the card and taking into account the sales for UFC 100 and 200, I'm estimating 850,000 buys. At half the standard rate, that comes out to another $675,000 for a grand total of 1,517,000. And the winner and baddest motherfucker Max Holloway also brought home $500,000 guaranteed, along with $32,000 in fight week incentive. And while it's hard to believe Max would not have received pay-per-view points in this scenario, since he's not a defending champion or headliner, I'll assume he didn't for the sake of this estimate. However, considering that he earned $300,000 for the fight of the night bonus, and an additional $300k for performance of the night, I'd say he well made up for it, bringing his total to $1,132,000. In the co-main event, strawweight champion Zhang Wei Li had the challenger Yan Zhao Nan nearly, if not fully unconscious, from a tight rear naked choke at the end of the first round. She was saved by the bell, but had a rough go of it in the second as Wei Li dominated and controlled her on the ground. Yan had her best moments of the fight in the third round, including a knockdown with a flush left hand. However, the fourth and fifth went the way of the champion as Zhang Wei Li took the unanimous decision victory. Zhao Nan took home $200,000 guaranteed and $32,000 in fight week incentive for $232,000 on the night. While Wei Li made $520,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in fight week incentive, and while flyweights and female champions often don't receive pay-per-view points, for this historic event, I can't believe that Wei Li wouldn't have gotten a cut. If we estimate a similar payout to Gaethje, that comes out to an extra $675,000, which takes her total to $1,237,000. Finally, the main event of the evening, and still the undisputed light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira made it look easy against the former champ Jamal Hill. The fight didn't last long, as three minutes into the first round, Poetan landed a left hand that put Hill down on the canvas and followed it up with devastating ground and pound to take the knockout victory. Hill wouldn't go home empty-handed, as he claimed when he vacated the belt, the UFC guaranteed him the same champion's purse and pay-per-view points for his return fight. Taking him at his word, that means he received $500,000 guaranteed, as well as $32,000 in fight week incentive, and at the standard rate, a whopping $1,350,000 in pay-per-view revenue for a total of $1,882,000. And still, the UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira took home $650,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in fight week incentive, and as champion and headliner, a matching cut of the pay-per-view for a grand total of just over $2 million. The Nevada State Athletic Commission does not release fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video are just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.